Hi everyone, if you're new here, my name is Marissa. I'm a product designer, or some may call a UX designer, living in San Francisco. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a digital advent calendar using Figma. I have always loved the idea of advent calendars counting down to Christmas with little surprises, but I've actually never bought one myself. So this year I'm going to make my own and I think this is perfect for long distance friends, family, significant others, plus it's super affordable and fun to design. So let's dive right in. All right. So before we get started, let me share a few design inspirations that helped me design my calendars. I want to build something that is fully interactive and would open just like a physical calendars. I was also really inspired by this New York Times cover and the Parasite movie poster. I also really, really love the San Francisco Chinatown color theme. So these are the inspos. So to make this easier for you, I've created a free Figma template that you can just duplicate. I'll drop it in the description below, so go ahead and follow along. For those who want a quick setup, I've added a pre-made layout in the template, so you can just copy and paste them onto the building and write down all your notes here and just be done in minutes. But if you want to learn how to create your own advent calendar from scratch, Feel free to stick around and I'll show you how to do it step by step. All right, to start, we're going to head over to the start from scratch page on the left side bar. And we are going to start by making each window interactive. So what that means is when you click on it, it will open to reveal a card or a note behind it. And I'm going to grab a window from this window asset section and leave this right here under component section and we're going to make two copies of each window one for the idle state and one for the hover state i'm going to select both windows and click on this little diamond thingy right here and click component set so now we have a group for window one or December 1st window and I'm going to name my property this one to be idle and then this one to be helper state. So now we have two variants for window one and now we're going to add some animation by selecting the idle state and make sure you're on the prototype mode. I'm going to drag the arrow to the hover state and I'm clicking on while hovering instead of on click change to hover animation instant that looks right so yeah now we have the first group and we are going to repeat the same steps for 24 windows Next, we'll number each window. There should be 24 windows in total leading up to Christmas. So go ahead and repeat this step till you have all your windows ready. Okay, here's the fun part. We're now customizing the hover state and you can add different colors, images, or graphics to each window. From mine, I'm using an illustration of my apartment that I made earlier, but feel free to add anything that's meaningful to you. 
I'm gonna make these hover states slightly tinted so it looks like the colors are like lit up when you hover on it. And then I'm gonna add my illustration in here. And once your windows are designed, you can arrange them onto the building. They don't have to be in order. I'm going for an asymmetrical building look. So yeah, feel free to arrange them however you like. Now it's time to write 24 cards, one for each day. These can include messages, playlists, a video, a digital gift card, anything you want to share. Once you have all your 24 cards written down, we're going to make sure that each window is interactive. So when you click on a window, the card will pop up. And this is when you want to make sure that each letter is labeled properly because this will help you a ton later. So we're going to switch to the prototype mode one more time. Click on the hover state. And then I'm going to drag this arrow from hover state from the window group to the letter one. And then I'm going to click on click. Action will be open overlay. And making sure the position is centered. And you can also customize the background color as well. I like to keep it as default and make sure you select post when clicking outside so people can exit out the note once they read it. And for animation, I like to do this off. It's a little fancy. So yeah, repeat this step for all 24 cards. Once everything is set up, we're going to preview the calendar. So just be sure to select this frame and you're on the prototype mode. So just click on this little play icon in the top left corner. You can preview the calendar in this little window, but I like to do it full screen and just go through each window, making sure there's no technical or visual issues and all the links are working properly. Okay, everything looks great and we are ready to go. And once you're happy with the prototype, you can share the prototype by clicking on this top share prototype button and you can just copy the link, email it to your friends or family, but just be sure to add a little note that this prototype is best viewed on laptop. Oh, and one more thing, make sure the settings is set to can view. And that should be it. You have made it. Congratulations. You have created your very own advent calendar. This is another theme that I was playing around last night. Anyways, happy designing and happy holidays. Be sure to subscribe for more fun projects like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.